season two still rolling still rolling can't stop us now we're halfway through can't stop won't stop Mm -mm, can't can't Mm. don't have a break i got nothing else to do why not let's i mean i mean we're so busy it's covid (laughs) it's you're you're at home yeah so you have so much to do when everything is is pretty much in a lockdown state and you don't want to go near people it's it's amazing yeah it's 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 amazing how much i feel like i'm not doing even though if i if i think about all the things that we've got going on like even even this project with you man it's yeah. it's 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 been awesome like keeping busy writing agendas like what do we want to talk about like how do we how do we push the uh the the controversial limit without actually being controversial i don't think anything we've done is controversial somebody's gonna think that it is but it you know somebody's gonna be offended or scared or something and even even this like like talking a little about the situation that's going on and where you are where i am where we are it's it's bound to get somebody and i'm like we're just talking just talking just talking man that's all i'm doing i'm just talking so, mm-hmm. look, you're probably wondering what we're going to talk about today. <clears throat> it's COVID-19, right? It's, it's 19, right? I'm, I got the right number? COVID-19, yeah. Right. Yeah. Sometimes <laughs> yeah. I, I slip up, you know. <laughs> it's not that. No, it's not that COVID-15. No, no that's no. old. No, 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 no. We've, we've no. moved on. We're up to 19 now. Ooh, it's a bad mamma jamma. <laughs> mm. Mm. So I, I got my mask. I've got plenty of masks around here. Like I've got the disposables. I've got the washables. Mm-hmm. I got the doctor mm-hmm. tie upables. I got the, mm-hmm. the bank robber, train robber, bad boy. I got like a uh, full face covering kind of thing. Like yeah, pull up. The, like mm-hmm, yeah, everything. I got every like I uh, when this f- thing first went down, man. I would not go out without some type of eye protection on. Eye protection. Okay, yeah. I I haven't done eye protection, yeah. but I, I I respect it. Like I, there's nothing about this or anybody's fear. If anybody's living in a bubble or been on quarantine, like I I, I respect that completely. Um, I've not, I, I'm not a, a hardcore quarantine. Um, I'm a uh, absolute not even believer in science like i understand science it's weird when people like i don't believe i'm like it's not that there's nothing to believe you don't understand it um so i i i feel like i've read a lot about what the cdc says and and how to contract it how not to contract it um and you know i do all that i can to make sure that the risk to myself and to everyone around me is as low as possible um but eye protection? No, I've not done that. Yeah, I, you know, I was ahead of the game. You know, before they came out with the little visor thing, I was out there with. I actually used my um, racquetball goggles. Okay. You know, I, I went out and then I ended up finding some lab goggles that I had from college, and so you okay. know, I, when I had to go to the Walmart, which for some odd reason everybody feels like the Walmart is like the most diseased place to go to, that I know. They're I, like, I don't want to go to the Walmart. Ugh. I, I mean, remember when I said, you know, it's not about belief, it's about understanding science? I think that's about understanding science. Like, how is... What? Yes, of course it is. What are you talking about? <laughs> okay, okay. so my fear was not... is, is warranted. Thinking I'm about pretty what? sure that there's several surveys, and, and anybody who's trying to make it political, like, they still agree on that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I've, I've, okay, so I've had some running... It's like, this has been the most interesting thing... Uh, Shall I say this might be the most interesting historical event of my lifetime? It's 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 amazing. So we we were up in because uh, I'm in um, not NYC and not like downtown Manhattan, but I'm I, I can see Manhattan out my window, which is just a, a once in a lifetime opportunity for me. Like totally uh, thankful to have this opportunity, but we got up here in less than a year. This hits. And at first it's like, Oh, NYC for a pandemic. That sounds <laughs> like movie quality stuff. Oh, yeah. But, um, other than the high spike at the beginning and then the quick reaction by everybody here, like I watching some disasters happening around the, the U S and the world. I'm like, all right. So New York got hit hard mm-hmm. and reacted hard so i'm i'm impressed with the the people in the neighborhoods and and what's happening around here and how understanding and respectful people are in so, in, in this area so 
you're telling me, <clears throat> and I, I, I watch CNN uh, all the time, and so I would see, um, I guess that's the governor. Uh, yeah, Cuomo. Cuomo. Yeah, Cuomo. Chris's yeah. brother. And uh, <clears throat> I would see his daily briefs, you know, and he would always say how the people of New York are working together. People are out there. They're doing their part to, you know, wear masks and things like is it really like that up there? Like people really doing their part and not trying to like trump the system? Yeah, like, okay, so I, I, I'll take the dog out and when I'm walking the dog, um, I'm gonna socially distance and I'm gonna make sure that I'm, I'm going nowhere near people. And sometimes I'll take the dog out on a 30 minute walk mm -hmm. and I won't see anybody and nobody's near me. And so I will go without a mask. Mm -hmm. Like I. I'm outside, I'm cruising around, I'm nowhere near anybody. Uh, if somebody passes me, they're on the other side of the street and I can I can make a dog walk without a mask. Comfortably, right. I feel like I'm totally within my natural uh, ability to do that. Yeah. yeah, within safety guidelines, et cetera. Yeah. Um, sometimes I've been out and I've got it in my pocket and sometimes I've forgotten it at home, kind of like leaving your keys. I'm like, oh shit, my mask. Um, and it's honest, I'm never gonna do that on purpose, but I've forgotten it before. And I got in the elevator with a couple and she'd been, they'd both been drinking, but she'd, she'd been drinking. <laughs> and, and I got the, uh, oh, did you forget your mask? <laughs> oh. And I was like, you are so right. I did. And I am so sorry. And I checked my pockets. I did have it. I put it on immediately. And the guy was was like, oh, I'm so sorry. She's She's been drinking. I'm like, man, she is absolutely right. She is the one that's right. I didn't have it on. I wasn't thinking. I, I had the dog. Like, it was my fault. What else do you say that's polite? And she's been drinking, so it was funny. But, yeah. oh, did you forget your mask? I'm like, Yes. Yes, I did. Okay. I'm sorry. Let me fix this. And it, it was my responsibility. No, th she did exactly what was right, calling me out. That's so awesome that that went down like that. I <laughs> live here in Texas, and mm -hmm. there's been slightly not the most receptive uh, people to masks. And, yeah, some of the Karens and the things that you see of people spitting on people and you know just blatantly walking in the store with no mask on like you know this lady was like ma'am you don't have a mask on she's like yeah it doesn't work like that i'm like all right yeah it does. I, so i don't get why they want to violate somebody else's right so you, I, so i i i understand the idiocracy of what they're saying but i at least mm -hmm. understand the oh you're invading my rights it's my right if i'm gonna wear it or not okay cool get out of my face like yeah. why are you violating everybody else's right in this name of freedom i'm like you are violating everybody else's freedom because you're trying to prove freedom yeah. you're doing the opposite of that like what do you that that is the most ignorant thing i can think of is to prove wrong the thing you're trying to prove yeah that is, <laughs> that is literally every time i see one i'm like and they're like this is a free country i'm like and that's why they're throwing you out of their establishment. Why are you fighting yeah. to stay here? You can't throw me out. This is a free country. This is my it, business. I can do whatever I want. Why do you have this little pity protest in the middle of a target? Yeah. Go to your, go see your governor. Go talk to, go to the courthouse. Go to the uh, uh, government offices. Why is Target? your goal like what are you proving besides ignorance like if oh i'm i'm gonna show the world and i'm gonna do it in a target yeah. like really <laughs> there's real protests going on down the street and you're up here upset in a target like uh, that's not the place to do it not the place to do it write your congressman i'm all for that write it but target this i just say put the mask on what is what is the real also big problem true. What is the oh, real I don't, yeah. big problem? Like, I, I was, as a, a black man, I've been excited to be able to put a mask on and walk into a <laughs> store and people not look at me like, uh oh, yep, it's happening. It's, it's, it's happening. It's, it's we got a ten eleven for our service here. Sure, yeah, like here comes Barney Fife every time I walk in the store normally, but now I walk in, they're like, hey, got his mask on. Hey, good, he's welcome here. He is, yeah, he is. Oh, that's so. 
funny sad. <laughs> it is. It's terrible. It's terrible. I'm more racially accepted with the mask than I am without a mask. Like, oh. once, this, once this COVID thing half goes away, I hope I don't go back to just like the, the normal black guy. I hope I still get to keep this, this sentiment of I walk in the store and nobody's like, oh, what is he about to do? I hope that you don't go back to being the um, normal black guy, as you're referring to, after this year and not because of the COVID stuff. <laughs> I, I hope we're able to progress yes. and not because you were wearing a mask for a year. That's that's a different topic. But mm -hmm. if, hey, man, you know what? If if COVID's what gets us there, then fuck it. it let's get happen. there. It has let's, to happen. Let's, let's whatever it. it is that gets us there, the, the, I don't know. Maybe this is it. I'm... I'm down. Yeah, I don't know. We don't but know. We, we tried all our options. I recycle and everything. What else are I going to do? <laughs> <laughs> Get a white guy on a podcast with you? I don't, I don't know. I'm, I'm doing my part. What else do you want me to do? <laughs> what else you want me to do? I don't own a pit bull. I'm out here doing my part. <laughs> you know, oh, I'm on my yard. So <laughs> <laughs> oh. Uh. That's, uh, I'm laughing because it's not funny, but, you know. <laughs> I laugh because like, nobody wants to see me cry. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I laugh, <laughs> <laughs> I laugh because I could joke about it now. In my 20s, I'd probably be really upset and threw something around by now. It's still upsetting. Just, I mean, come on. Just how do you come handle on. it? How do you handle it? And, and just like with this, the COVID is upsetting. The, co like the vid, mm -hmm. as I've heard it, 19, as it's called, like... It's upsetting, but you know, like, it's so simple of how we could have helped save so many lives was just wearing a mask when you go to Walmart, wearing a mask when you went to the local this or the local that, or you're at the football game, or you're just wearing a mask could have helped save so many lives. And even then, like, <clears throat> you know, kids lives grandparents lives like yes yeah, it's, yeah. It, it's it's so simple we didn't have to put on a, a 50 pound backpack get a gun shoot a missile send troops anywhere other than just random places within the united states and probably to help distribute the vaccine but all we had to do was wear a mask and we could have done so much as a community and, and helped each other like you said and been free Amazing how how simple it is, and I personally am not scared of getting the virus. I I feel healthy. I feel like I could recover well. I'm not scared of it, but I'm not so selfish <laughs> that I don't that I that I do realize that I could give it to somebody who's not in as good of health. So how selfish are people like? Well, I'm not scared of it. I'm like, well, fuck you. I'm not scared of it either. But I'm, I, I don't know, I care about other people. I, I, I recognize what's happening. I, that's what I don't get is how people are like, well, I'm not worried about it. I'm like, I don't want to wear a mask. It's not comfortable. It's not no. my favorite. No. Um, but I, I'm not scared of the virus. I'm, I'm, but I'm, I'm scared of a pandemic. I'm scared of a pandemic like like hell. I'm scared of it. Like the the things that I've seen on the news and, and what some of these people are going through. And yes, some of us are recovering wonderfully from this. And then some of us are losing mm -hmm. our lives. And some of us right. are getting um, damage that will never, ever be fixed. And, and now you have an existing condition due to, to uh, a side effect of having COVID-19. And so like, sure. I think it's just so large. And now, you know, where we stand right now is this episode is being taped. Like <clears throat> the amount of children that are starting to get the virus is starting to increase, you know, and uh, I'm just gonna touch up on that. You know, I think the huge, the biggest thing was the lack of leadership to lead with the mask. I, for sh for sure, the denial about it, like yeah. I just don't get it. But thank goodness for Germany and Pfizer for getting the vaccine or the vaccine, <laughs> <laughs> the, the vaccine uh, uh, distributed as quickly as possible. And I know that people are like, oh, it's this person or this person, but uh, science has nothing to do with the the stupid politics that are happening. And Germany pushed this through, um, and I I think it's a combination of all the countries around the world that are supporting. Who, whichever uh, medical facility was going to push it through. And, and thanks, Pfizer. Like, let's do this. I hope it makes a giant difference. Oh, yeah. I mean, just the immediate difference in getting it to frontline workers, 
You know, mm-hmm. just the the fact that they can be healthy but still be passing, you know, a virus on that they're not really experiencing symptoms for. And sometimes, as we've seen, don't even test positive for at the time of taking a test. So, you know, it's awesome to get that to them because they are the ones that are truly going to have to help until, you know, as it's looking like right now, July, before we can start really saying I, people. I know you said shot. frontline. I'm not going to be surprised if it's uh, a lot of uh, senators and governors <laughs> yeah. and uh, people working in the White House to get it before the front line. But it's like I, I don't got, know. It's just me. Like I got five of them. So it's like, it's like okay, well, of course, you know, they're frontline workers. They they go and they sit and they argue about how they can't figure out how to, you know, fund defense right now while people are not eating food. So, you know, it, they they need the, they need it. I can't believe it make something like this political. It doesn't make any sense to me. I don't see how this would fall on either side of politics. And I and I will argue all day long that my beliefs and my views fall on both sides depending on the topic this to me is not political and why is it why is it there like i'm down for a political argument i don't understand why people think this is one nope not at all this this my friend is not a political argument this is this is simply science and like you said you don't have to believe in it but you at least should understand it (laughs) <laughs> There's not a belief. Like, it's... Yeah, just, just understand this is how it works. Like nobody says uh, you, you just that if you put this on, that doesn't happen. Like I, 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 it's very simple. So you know, there's there's no there's no jokes here, people. There's no hotty ha 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 ha. Well, maybe that was, but but that's it. So what we got for nice. next episode? Oh man. We're going to we're going to talk about some uh, uh, Statue of Liberty and why uh, that lady hasn't had a bath in over a century. Mm. Um, like it's, it's not even worth it. Like she don't need no bath. Um, we're going to talk about bones and how they got there and what, what the mutation was. Uh, and then we're also going to talk about smart toilets, like giving your uh, giving your poo a little uh, hearty look and uh, <laughs> seeing what's uh, what's right or wrong with you. All right, well, you'll figure out which episode is about the poo when we put these out there. So you can just take your guess and we'll catch you on the next episode. Um, Maybe about poo, maybe not. We'll find out.